the braless poem, or realizing that I can go out in comfort now because I am unemployed. <laughs> the workplace doesn't allow for it. In general, we just don't make room for unbound breasts. Got to keep those girls under control, hidden, tie them down, hold them back, hook them on. In the name of neatness, <laughs> under the guise of comfort. But unleashed, they don't hang any worse than flaccid bellies or the long, dim faces of the poor who trade their limp and tired limbs for not quite enough. They don't hang with any more insult than the bank possession notice on the door. They don't interfere, don't offend any more than the tax man and the television. But then they might poke into your consciousness, interrupt ordering a coffee or dropping the kids at school because suddenly you've seen a shape, an <laughs> imperfect shape, not Victoria's plump and lifted. You suddenly gain access to the inside of someone you hardly know, and it's uncomfortable. We don't know how to act suddenly invited into someone's private room. Our inner world is that because we don't want to share, really. And we're uncomfortable when others share too much with us. Like when the woman at the checkout says, how are you? And you know she doesn't want to hear about the friend who died or the job you lost. She wants you to say fine. And so, you say it. After all, the things on our chest are being held back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.